What else is available? Did someone say energy from waste? I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, even if you get an elephant to dump in your backyard, that's still not enough. Some places do use small wind turbines, but it's worth noting that many of them are complemented with solar PV. Today's solar energy is much cheaper than it used to, and it makes economic sense for users. A shopkeeper in Nicaragua, Central America, can stay open extra three hours each day with solar-powered lights. And with a solar-powered freezer, she no longer needs to travel outside of her village to go and buy ice. So all in all, her monthly sales increased by $1,200. Within three years, her investment has paid back. Solar energy is not only bringing value for the end users. Solar distributors and installers are finding this a profitable business. We just saw in the video that from 2005 to 2007, Zara Solar increased their sales from $200 a month to nearly $60,000 a month, which is not too bad for a small business with five workers at that time. I talked with the founder a few days ago. The monthly sales has tripled. In fact, this year, they are expecting revenues of $2.4 million. How did they do it? Well. Zara Solar got initial help from an international investment firm called EA Plus Co, which helped them develop a business plan and get in touch with suppliers. It also helped Zara Solar secure a $350,000 loan so they can start import the solar products and sell to the rural residents. In terms of payment from the, end, uh, from the customers, they asked from, asked from them to pay the full price up front. And later, they started cooperating with different financial institutions to provide microfinance. So customers can choose to pay for the whole system in installments. Once the system is sold, Zara Solar uses a network of freelance technicians to follow up and provide the after-sales service. With this business model, Zara Solar reached tens of thousands of users. In the case of Zara Solar, we saw that the end users own the system. But sometimes users don't need to own the system to benefit from solar energy. For example, on an island of the Philippines, the local authority took a loan and installed a water pump which is powered by solar. The water pumps uh, water from an underground, uh, underground river into a several uh, water filling stations. And over there, the local residents can insert a prepaid card into a machine and get drinking water. Once the prepaid card runs out of uh, money, they go to the local office and add value to it. Like we see. So everybody's happy because the water now costs a third of what it was before. And the local authority is getting money from that prepaid card and can pay back the loan. Solar energy brings new choices to remote areas. And these choices can make a huge difference. That is exactly the story of Hamsaini Kipli, who couldn't spell his father's name. He lived in a very small island in the Pacific Ocean that I'm quite sure you never heard of. And he was already into his fourth year in a poor community school. But he couldn't read. He couldn't even spell his father's name. His father, like any of us, wanted to help his son succeed in life. He wanted to transfer his son into the school in the capital of that island. But he knew that if he wanted to do that, his son must improve his reading and writing skills. 
The father had education, so he wanted to tutor his son by himself. However, he could only do so when he returned home from fishing at night. The problem was that it was too dark then, and they didn't have light. Interesting enough, at that time, a US-funded program came and installed solar-powered light in his community. The father was so happy, he started teaching his son at night and helped him overcome his difficulties in reading and writing. The child was also able to improve by himself because he can now study after it gets dark. And not long, and the boy was enrolled in that better school in the capital. I'm sure you can imagine what it meant for that family. They were very pleased to know that their son can now have better education. And they were not expecting too much because schools in the capital are known to be more competitive. Yet their efforts have paid off. The child flourished. In fact, he became one of the top three students in his class. And best of all, he can now spell his father's name. So, these choices matter. And as I finish my presentation, we are all going to be left with our own choices. Choices that affect the dreams of people around the world. There are already many of us that are creating positive impact in high-end markets. But I hope that Every time you turn off the light, it will remind you that there are still a billion people who are still waiting in the dark. Thank you.